Ah! Is that a UFO? Oh no, that's my umbrella. Uh, hello, hello, it's me, the bug. Hey, what? Ha, who, ha? Who, ha, who, when? Hello, howdy, I am Banis. Howdy, doinks. Hello, Cornivius. Howdy, Ilya. Hello. We're uh, playing Drama Center today. Just woke up from a nap, so I am very disoriented. So, of course, some motherfuckers are gonna throw gobos at my face like it's a funny thing to do. Uh, we'll put that there. Uh, just here. And this one. Here. All right, sure. Uh, yeah, we're doing a video game, I guess. It's called. Drama Center. Not Drama Center, mind you, but there will be some of that, too. <laughs> uh. Uh, bro. Mohop, hello. I'm afraid I made a Doug funny joke earlier today in a Discord. Not a Discord anybody here is in, but a Discord, meaning uh, no one else can make a Doug funny joke today, sorry to say. Sorry for these awful sounds, I'm uh, readjusting my microphone. Uh, every time I stream a Wii game, I say I'm going to change my setup so it's less awful to stream a Wii game, but you know, I, I didn't do that. You know already that I did not do that, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, that button is the one I press. Oh my god, my Wiimote is across the room. I was all excited to try the McDonald's frozen Coke, but uh, they didn't have it, so I got a blue slush instead. I don't know what flavor of blue, but it's blue. We got us a widescreen video game today, so let me see why it's getting cut off on the side here. Why is this happening? It only in whatever. Uh, let's see. Uh, better. That's probably the best. We'll get it. And I want to move down a little too. I don't know why it would be different in VTube Studio than what I see on my screen, but. Fine, I guess. All right, Trauma Center. Well, the lady who works there just said blue, so uh, I'm, I'm gonna trust her and say it's blue. I don't know anything else about it, I just know it's blue. I assume this game supports 16.9. It'd be weird if it didn't. It looks kind of silly in 16.9. Oh, baby, there they are. This game fucking rules. We fight guilt. You know what it is. All right, the screenshots appear to be in some sort of widescreen format, so... I guess it's fine. Though, it seems like it's... Stretched? I don't know. Maybe I'm losing my mind. It's possible! The forceps. The laser. The ultrasound. Maybe this video is just stretched. I think that might be the case. <laughs> Soleil, hello! 
Oh, baby. Stop the thrombosis from moving by using the forceps. I'm always saying that. You know, I, there are so many things I say on a regular basis that come from this game, like stop the mo the thrombosis by moving the forceps. I say that all the time. Is my Wii really set to 16.9? I feel like it almost certainly is, but I'm gonna check anyway. Also, just in case this game has save file names and potentially doxing information, I am going to hide the game capture. Uh, let's see here. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm in 16.9. I don't know why it looks funny to my eyes. Uh, wide screen setting. Yeah, it's on 16.9, and I'm pretty sure this game supports it. It'd be weird for a Wii game not to, so, uh, let's, uh, do this. Uh, you'll just have to find out, Soleil, but, uh, this is a very stupid video game, so do with that what you will. Um, okay, let me double check. The save data shit. Okay, it does not display any information. We're good. Uh, not window capture. This one. Okay, we're gonna start us a new video game on this one. Fuck your progress. Discord doesn't explode? What are you talking about? This is not really like house at all. Um, it could be, but it's not. This is Hope Hospital, located in downtown Angeles Bay, however. Since its inception, Hope has selflessly served the community. One of the newest doctors here is still in need of guidance, but he strives to improve out of an earnest desire to help people. That's right, it's Ernest Evans, who will soon come to realize his full potential. Standard procedure. I could do hard mode, but I don't think I will. That would be a bad idea, I think. Right? That'd be a bad idea. I think it would be a bad idea to go into hard mode. Um, it'd be a really stupid idea to do hard mode. I'm still getting my fucking Wii set up back to how it usually is, so like, sorry about all of the horrible noises happening. Um, alright, if I put that there, I think that'll be the best I get it. Hope Hospital, consultation room. Who's Doi? I don't know Doi. Um, patient has been moved to the pre-op area. This is Mary Fulton. She fucking hates Derek Styles' guts. Um, she's well liked though. Injury is located on his forearm and he's still fully conscious. We should be receiving blood test results from the lab any minute now. Looks worse than it is, he's not in any real danger. Why does everything look slightly too stretched? I'm not liking it. You might say you got lucky. Dr. Greg Casal, the head of Hope Hospital's surgery department. He's not easily rattled, but he's kind of annoying. He'll be operating, Derek. Oh god. <laughs> what a fucking dork. I will? Derek Stiles, age 26, an ex inexperienced surgeon in the story's main character. Is 26 like the minimum age at which you can become a surgeon in the US? I don't exactly know. Uh, I know med school lasts a fucking lifetime, but I don't know when you will conceivably start it. Yeah, two stretched doinks. Masayuki Doi did art for SMT, I see. He just completed his residency, okay. I was just about to start my round, so uh, I'll leave it up to you. Worry about that later, you fucking idiot. You're not an intern anymore. Hurry up and prep the OR. It's a simple extraction procedure. There's nothing to worry about. 
Stake your time, stay calm, and keep it steady, which is literally impossible using a Wii remote. And there's a kink in my Wii remote to nunchuck attachment cord. Uh, laceration. This is a surgery game, if you didn't know. Kevin Turk, he's one of the Turks. He lost control of his motorcycle and crashed through a glass door. What an idiot! Uh, our cosmetic surgery is out at a medical society meeting, but you probably got this. It's easy, Derek. You just gotta suture any lacerations and remove some glass. Let's begin the operation. The door probably broke if he has glass shards in his arm, if I'm being honest. Alright, uh, why did I select hard? This is a stupid idea. Good work. All right. I have played these games before, so I might rush through the tutorial prompt. I hope you don't mind. This game introduces the wonderful disinfectant, uh, disin... I forget what it's called. Antibiotic gel? I don't remember what it's called, but it immediately cures all wounds. Um... We gotta get the glass out of his arm. Antibiotic gel. That and the... the... It makes it wonderful. You know what it's called. Uh, I fucked uh, that up, don't worry about it though. The weird thing about the extraction of fragments is where you place them on... The tray actually influences uh, how uh, you're scored. That was a horrible suit. Let's move on. For a surgery game, they abstract things enough that it's not too gross, but it is. Still surgery. Good job, Dr. Styles. Good job, Dr. Styles. Easy video game. Forget the part where I fucked up. C <laughs> I think the scoring is harsher on uh hard as well. See, you're catching on quickly. That wasn't so hard, was it? It was very difficult. I couldn't have done it without my <laughs> lovely assistant, Rotten Hill Derek. I can definitely see improvement, but flirting isn't everything. Seriously, I'll keep practicing and you'll do just fine. Well, it's it's because I screwed it up, okay? It's because I fucked up the cut. I'm I'm shaky. Look at this. It's impossible to do surgery like this. Let's learn the ropes. This is the tutorial. Learning the ropes. Judging from the MRI, oh, we're gonna learn the Powell procedure, everyone. Benign, but you should be prepared for anything. Any questions, Dr. Styles? Huh? Oh, uh, sorry, I was beating my meat. Uh, I'm fine. Are you even listening? I know you're stressed, but this just happens to be your job, you idiot. Are you getting enough sleep? You need at least six hours a night. I'm sure they went over that in med school. More like ten hours, but... Um, Derek, don't forget our follow-up appointment with Mr. Jenkins this afternoon. Have you read the report? Ah, uh, You need to shape up. This is real life. We're not playing games here. I swear they stretched the art. I swear to God. She shouldn't have to still babysit you. This might be grounds to open an investigation. <laughs> the impaired medical and social development of Dr. Styles. <laughs> Oh. By the way, Mary, I spoke with Dr. Hoffman. Thank you very much. Wait, you spoke with the director? About what? Don't worry, it's none of your business. It's a personal matter. Forget I ever mentioned it. Are you, are you going on vacation? I wouldn't mind a long cruise myself, lounging in the sun, the sea stretching. Shut the fuck up, Derek. We're doing surgery. Oh, it's Noah Laurie. Um, we're, we're doing the Powell procedure. 
Uh, two years ago, tests indicated it was small and benign, but it's grown and started to hemorrhage. At this rate, it might become malignant. After talking with Mr. Lori, we've decided to remove it. There is only one objective, excise the tumor. That is all, but you'll need to remove the tumor using the Powell procedure. What did I tell you? First drain the cytoplasm, then you cut it, uh, then you do some other shit, etc. Mr. Lori, yes. Let's begin. Uh, this will be a lobotomy. All right, we're doing a lobotomy. Easy enough. See, that was a pretty good cut. Just a little bit shaky. Why did the vitals drop by 40? These vitals are dropping. You'll need to use the magical vial that makes people healthy again. Uh, something is wrong in the stomach. Why is it the B button to activate the sonar? A <laughs> talent or beginner's luck? That was 100% luck. Never seen that before. It's pretty big. Oh yeah, that's a big old ball in your stomach. Keep it steady. That's good. Mm-hmm. Then you gotta cut it. I know. I've done the Powell procedure thousands of times. Yeah, you gotta apply the synthetic membrane, and then you gotta disinfect it before it bleeds, or else it'll fall off, and it's really annoying. Um, okay. That was really it. I thought it was gonna be a case of, oh no, he's actually dying. Geo, hello? Good job, Dr. Alright, I probably got a pretty good score here. That's at least an A. S. I'm a master surgeon. See, it only took me two surgeries, but now I'm the best surgeon in the fucking world. Nice work, Derek. You really took your time and did things right. Just remember that the patient's safety always comes first. You're getting better every day. Keep up the good work. I always like trying to spell the letters with the uh, scorings. Like, you could spell ass. It's pretty funny. Um, a farewell. Hope Hospital Nurses Station. And so, since my husband's been relocated to a different office, I'll be leaving Hope Hospital effective immediately. I'm really gonna miss this place, except for Derek. I'm really glad we're leaving Derek behind. They all taught me that nothing is more satisfying than helping patients. It was a pleasure to have you on staff, Mary. Good luck with the new job. Oh. <laughs> How are you gonna get by without her, Derek? Actually, Derek's the one reason I was a little hesitant to leave. <laughs> you even spoke with my husband about it. I told him there's a kid here who depends on me. Guessed how long I'd been working in pediatrics. Ha ha! Is Nurse Fulton still here? Oh, hello, Dr. Hoffman. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? I'm here to sexually harass you. He used to be a renowned surgeon, but then he retired into work in management. No, of course not. I came here to say goodbye since I won't be around tomorrow. Thank you for your many years of dedicated service. Oh, fantastic nurse, probably your best. On behalf of our entire staff, I'd like to say thank you. <laughs> Sir, the pleasure was all mine. I wish there was some way I could thank you for this opportunity. Well, you're not going to stop nursing, are you? Continue to help people, that will be thanks enough. Of course, helping people is my life. It's just, I wish I could stay and learn from you a little longer. This is right at a distance where I'm like, should I switch glasses to my regular glasses? But then my eyes will probably melt, so I don't know. Streaming Wii games is a terrible choice, never do it. Dr. Ksal surpassed Dr. Hoffman as a surgeon or something. Goodbye, Dr. Hoffman. I wish I could have seen Dr. Hoffman in action more. But he hasn't performed any sexual acts since that incident. Derek, let's discuss the next patient. Yes, sir. This will be my last procedure at Hope. Don't let me down, Derek. Did I say hello, we have Baxter? Hello! Mm. 
You know, Wii game in the retro category is a Wii game retro? What makes a game retro, Ren? Uh, we're handling Dr. S or Mr. Spence's operation. Um... Ah! <laughs> Wake up, Dr. Styles. I'm sorry that I'm fucking moving on to a different job. Uh, let's review the main objective, excise and remove all tumors. We're gonna do the Powell procedure again. This is the operation I was thinking of. Let's begin. I still like the uh, Trauma Team soundtrack better than this game soundtrack, but both pretty good. Oh my god, we gotta inject the blue. Uh, the swelling's gone down. There's three tumors. So the stupid thing about this game is to get the best score removing a tumor, you have to remove it without actually fully uh, getting it in the ultrasound, if I remember right. But maybe I made that up because I did not get any special score for doing that. So maybe I made it up. It's very possible. Alrighty, uh, there's one. And... Ba-dump! 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 You're really improving! Wait, he doesn't have 12,000 tumors? I thought... I swear to god he would have 12,000 tumors. Crash Cast, hello! I love these games. Wish they'd make Rock solid. Yeah, we could- this is in the Rock Solid universe. The Rock Solid Cinematic Universe, so it's fine to use. Well, it's no S, but it's pretty good. You did a great job, Derek. Looks like I have nothing to worry about. You're gonna make an excellent surgeon. Please continue using your ability to help the people of Angel's Bay. I was only doing it to impress you, ma'am. Nurse Angie. Here comes the Angie. Uh, ambulance. The Angel. The Angelance. Uh, goodbye, Miss Fulton. We got you a cake or something. I'm a little embarrassed. Miss Fulton was more than a great nurse. She looked after all of us as well. She will be missed. Are you sure you're not glad to be free of my nagging? What are you talking about? I'm just worried Derek's gonna start coming to work late again. You're the one who kept him in line, Mary. Aw, oh, jeez, guys! <laughs> you don't need to be worried. I'll be fine without Mary's help. I may be young, but I'm still a doctor. That's good to hear. So no more sobbing phone calls from you, huh? <laughs> I forgot how much Derek gets owned at the start of this game. You've grown so much since you joined us, and I'm proud of you. Work hard, and you'll surpass even Dr. Casal one day. Don't forget that I believe in you. Something wrong? They must be talking about my replacement. Since I'm leaving, you're gonna need a new assistant. I was supposed to train her this afternoon, but HR assured me she's very reliable. I hope everything's okay. Good news, it's not okay. Sorry I'm late. There she is. I swear to god, it's slightly stretched wider. I guess this is definitely the Persona 3 art guy. I assume other Persona art guys? I don't know. Persona 3's the good one. Um, Angie Thompson, the new nurse, starting tomorrow. Very nice to meet you. Well, she's a nurse, isn't she a little too hot? What's that now? Uh, no, uh... <laughs> On the way here, I saw a man get hit by a car as he was crossing the street. I took him to a nearby clinic and stayed until they transferred him to the St. Francis Hospital. Of course, the paperwork took forever to fill out, so, yeah. Sounds like you had a rough morning. Well, don't worry about being late. I completely understand. 
even if you did make up a story. Excuse me, has Miss Thompson arrived yet? There's someone on the line from St. Francis Hospital. Let's be about that patient. Please excuse me. Chris, hello? She certainly is something else. Looks like I'm leaving you in capable hands. What do you think, Derek? Ah, uh, <laughs> Singing the blues. Hope Hospital. It looks like I'm winking in succession, but I'm really just rubbing my eye. Good morning. Hello, Dr. Stiles. You're supposed to be here 15 minutes ago. Your patients shouldn't have to wait just because you're behind schedule. Has she ever been to a doctor before? Come on. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'll call in the first one. Man, she's strict. Please have a seat, Mr. Cox. I love your internet service. Yo, Doc! I'm gonna try switching glasses. We'll see if it actually does. Yeah, medical professionals do talk like that, it's true. During today's surgery, we'll be removing a polyp from your throat. How are you feeling? It's important for us to know about any changes to your condition. There could be problems if anything unexpected happens. I don't know, fine I guess, I don't really know. It's just not fair, you know? I spend years working part-time, keeping the dream alive. I finally land a contract with a big-time record producer and my throat's screwed up. Oh, see, I didn't even know about the throat, but I got it. Why did fucking adrenaline junkies get... <laughs> oh, if something goes wrong, I wasted my life. I have to work retail till I die because of this stupid polyp thing. Just try to relax. We're hoping for the best. Oh yeah, hoping, huh? It's clearly all it takes, right? Hope? We're at Hope Hospital, so yeah. If you could get by on Hope, I would have had a record deal years ago. Maybe Dad was right, I was stupid to think I could be a rock star. Come on, try to stay positive. You're going to be fine, really. Sorry, Dex. Nate. Tisha. You guys worked for the money and I just ended up letting you down. Oh, front of the money. I don't even think I'll be able to pay it back. I need to take your blood pressure. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you fucking moron, Derek. Huh? Don't you even read your notes? I was nervous about this. Our job was to be more than just treating illness. Proper bedside manner is an essential element in a patient's recovery. Things you say directly affect these people's attitudes. Don't you get it? Ah! <laughs> I hope you handle things more appropriately during surgery this afternoon. Polyp clusters confirmed in the trachea due to internal hemorrhaging. Uh, hemostatic laser procedure is necessary. We should start the briefing. Let's review today's patients. Mr. Cox started feeling pain in his throat about a month ago. Been coughing up blood since then, and now he has trouble breathing. Since Doctor or Mr. Cox is a rock singer, it's likely that a polyp has developed due to the strained bronchial tubes. Obviously, it has started hemorrhage. If this were made in 2022, he would be a VTuber. He attempted to treat it with a nebulizer, but his condition is getting worse. It's nothing life-threatening, but considering the patient's career, it's serious enough to warrant a surgical intervention. It's still possible for him to fully recover. What's your opinion, Doctor Casal? That sounds like a good plan. Are you ready, Dr. Stiles? This operation has three objectives. Strain the overflowing blood, locate the source of the patient's distress, use the laser to remove it. It's a delicate operation, so we'll need to use the magnification tool. Remember, this is the patient's livelihood, so tread carefully. Nice work, Angie. Derek, good luck. It's Rock Hawk, the cock singer. Let's begin. Oh my god, the outer membrane of the trachea started to hemorrhage. 
Uh, magnification too. I feel like this is the only time in the whole game where you actually magnify with the magnification tool. <laughs> Maybe it's two where it's only used for panning, but... Yeah, yeah, we gotta drain the blood. Oh, these polyps are far too small, so let's uh, laser them. Where's the laser at? Yeah, 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 I know how to use a fucking laser, I just can't find the laser. Uh, well, I, uh, I probably didn't get a nest because they bled. I could be wrong about that, but I think that's how this works. All the pumps have been removed. Could have gotten better for you, but I guess it's okay for you. She fucking hates Derek, it's great. All right. All right. Oh, there's more. Oh my god. All right. Uh -huh. Yeah. Proceed as normal. Oh baby. There's more. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, they just keep coming! How many polyps does this man have? Almost done. Boing. Oh, this guy did the uh the Twink and SMT5. I've really been assigned to this inexperienced slacker. How are you? Hello? You know I'm always popping. Fewer than six blood pools. I'm basically a senior surgeon at this point. Your operation was a complete success. Uh. Don't try to speak yet, your throat needs to rest for a few days. No worry though, a week from now you'll be belting out power ballads, good as new. Speaking of which, how about a couple of tickets to your next concert? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Forgot how much Angie fucking hates him at the start of the game. A real doctor. Is there a different widescreen setting on this? Am I making this up? Uh, okay, there's not. I don't know why the widescreen is bothering me so much. It just looks slightly off. Maybe it's just the fact that it's a Wii game. Thank you so much, Doctor. Take care now. <laughs> Looks like our last walk-in for today. Angie, let's start pre-op at around 1 o'clock, okay? Don't you think we should have examined him more carefully? There were signs of cyanosis, which could lead to asthma. Indicate asthma. If that's the case, he needs to see a physician right away. Really? I didn't think it looked like anything serious. You need to start acting like a real doctor, Mr. Styles. Um, she <laughs> didn't call him Dr. Styles. That's very funny. Um... Most doctors you see also don't give a shit, so you know. You're overreacting, I'm sure it'll be fine. This Dr. Casal is at a conference today, I'll be briefing you today. I think you'd be briefing me even if he was here. We're extracting a stage 1 tumor from the patient's small intestine, so if we take it out, he should fully recover. However, his blood test results were unusual. We can ask Dr. Casal about that once he gets back. As long as I extract the tumor, the patient should be fine. That's technically correct, but I'm pretty confident about this. Uh, I know the Powell procedure. This will be a snap. The Powell procedure a real thing? I feel like I've looked this up before, but I don't remember. Uh, the epiphalum. Starting the operation. Starting the operation. It's like really hard to find a good doctor, so whenever you have to like 
go from a good doctor and find a new one, I'm like, wow, I'd rather just never go to the doctor again. Uh, what? What? Oh, 80 is the max. Boing. What the fuck? Uh, we need to go get on in there. Okay, I thought I'd have to zoom, but I guess not. Na -na -na -na. Proceed as normal. Na -na -na -na. Oh, the vitals drop really fast, huh? Zorlander, hello. Not yet. Could be our first if we're not careful. this game doesn't make larger use of the uh, speaker in the Wii remote. It rumbles a lot. We should bring this game to Switch with HD rumble. It'd be great. Atlas, please hire me. Alright. Uh, his vitals aren't stabilizing. Derek's a fucking idiot and is like, nah, he's fine. But what I. There's gonna be tumors somewhere. Sorry about second guessing you, doctor. Okay, well, I guess not. Oh god, you can feel <laughs> fucking <laughs> organs. Oh no. Still learning from experiment. <laughs> this man is gonna get horribly ill, I just know it. Angie is way smarter than Derek. Good work, Doctor. Boing, 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 boing. They make Persona 5 Q, I'll forgive them. We Yeah, I guess the vitals did fall a lot. Whoa! Crash caps, thank for the vault. Dr. Stiles. Oh, hey, Angie. Thanks for your help in there. I'd like to have a word with you about that last operation. Hmm? Was there something wrong with my bedside manner? No, it's about the patient, actually. His white blood cell and globulin counts are rising rapidly. I also noticed inflammation along the, the patient's, uh, perineum. I should re-examine him immediately and consult his regular doctor. I agree with you, but I'm afraid we'll have to wait until tomorrow. I'm supposed to help with the next symposium, so I'm meeting with some doctors from St. Francis to learn the ropes and everything. But they traveled a long way to meet with me, so I can't just blow them off. I'll handle this the first thing tomorrow, I promise. What are you supposed to do in that situation? Skip your important meeting? I just don't know. The City Walk. Too bad I had to work tomorrow. I would like to talk a bit longer. Oh well, at least I'm ready for this symposium thing. Hmm? Oh, my cell phone. I could never be a doctor because, uh... I, uh... refuse to work after hours. Derek, where are you? The patient is in critical condition. Get back here right now. What? Taxi, take me to Hope Hospital and step on it. I've only had 12 beers, Angie. I'll be okay. No bone. <laughs> Angie. A tumor metastasized in his lungs, which then began swelling. It continued to fester until 30 minutes ago when the tumor ruptured. The patient is in shock and suffering acute peritonitis. 
The other doctors are operating on him as we speak. Follow me, Mr. Styles. You need to see the consequences of your carelessness. <laughs> God, she hates him. Ba -na -na -na. Ba -ba -na -na -na. Uh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to beat this game on hard. I'm gonna have to knock it down to normal at some point. I understand you didn't have much information to base a decision on. I do admit that the tumor was difficult to see from the x-ray. However, the laboratory left you several memos about the patient. I understand that they pointed out as extremely high readings. More than that, you dumped your responsibilities onto a nurse immediately following a very delicate operation. I- Ah! Uh... Miss Thompson, what are you- Please excuse me for interrupting, Dr. Hoffman. I understand that this is a little rude, but I have something to say. Uh? It's about the negligent attitude Mr. Stiles has displayed thus far. I warned him about the patient at least three times, but he said that there were important personal matters he had to take care of. And he just walked out without another word. Mr. Stiles, maybe you didn't harm the patient directly, but... How can you... How can I work under a doctor who doesn't even try to act like one? Doesn't matter how small or groundless a s the patients are depending on you to take care of them. Why did you become a doctor? Do you even know? Ah. Uh. You don't deserve to be here. You're not a real doctor. I really screwed up this time. Time to drown my sorrows in 12 years again. <laughs> Patient almost died and it was my fault. Being called Dr. Styles doesn't make me a good doctor. What was I thinking? I'm no doctor. Not if I keep making mistakes like that. Oh god, there's gonna be an accident. Rain. Maybe that'll help me calm down. You couldn't make any things any worse. You might want to head back pretty soon. They don't want me there. I'm apparently useless as a doctor. You're never gonna believe what I just saw, huh? Well, I guess... Nope, it's even better! There was this crazy accident on a walnut between a truck and an SUV. It was nuts! The drivers flew into the street and, huh? No, it really happened! Accident? On my nuts? They're going to be taken to our trauma ward, but Dr. Casal's out of town! And there aren't any emergency doctors on call. Here's where he acts like a true... doctor. Oh no 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 That's right, there's no time to lose Where are the accident victims, Angie? No I gotta resuscitate the other Calm down, Angie. Take me to the OR. Oh, yeah. Oh, is this the healing touch? Omar Flynn. Omar Ept? The ambulance brought him here as soon as they could. His heart isn't beating. I tried to revive him, but Angie! What do I do? I need help. I take a photo! Angie! Dr. Styles. Only person here who needs help is the patient. Stop having a panic attack. Just get better. We're gonna help him. It's up to us, and only us. We're gonna save him. I can't do this without you, Angie. I wanna save his life. Pretend this is a normal procedure. Calm down. Think things through. We gotta get a pulse. Understood. Let's begin the operation. I will save this patient. Oh my god, he's got lacerations. Okay, here's where I do the fucking motion controls with the defib. Be careful. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, here we go. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh god, we gotta we gotta save him. Woo! Proceed as normal. What? 
vials are dropping fast. He suffered a lot of damage to his chest. What could it be? Maybe uh, his rib cage got crushed. Oh, defibrillators are automated now? That makes sense. I don't think you have the skill to treat it like this. <laughs> I don't think we can wait, Angie. I don't think we can wait. He's got a lot of, lot of glass in his heart. That's what I would do, though. I'd be like, oh, let's just wait for a manager. Okay, yep. These things are really annoying to try to line up. They just... I'm pushing them forward, goddammit! Oh god, he's gonna die. Now we're fine, we're fine. What is that? <laughs> I love what a huge shard of glass bursts out of this man's heart. Okay, that was that was not my fault. That was the Wii remote. Oh my god! Don't die on me. Here we go! I won't let him die. What just happened? Sooner the myocardium in a split second! If I think we're finished, let's close him up. I'm slipping away. I was so scared, Doctor. I froze and all I could think about was running away, but you didn't worry at all. You stood your ground and did what had to be done. You're, you're a real doctor! Oof. Glad that character arc's over. Ah, uh, look how cute she is when she's smiling. She's cuter when she's mad, though. Ten cools earned. <laughs> it's fine. I almost killed him. Never felt that way. I think I'm starting to understand. Condition stabilized for now. Let's keep an eye on him. Yes, doctor. You need to contact the other doctors and I'm way ahead of you. Most of the off-duty staff have agreed to come in. I also called Dr. Casal. Good work, thank you. You should get some rest. We were in surgery for a long time. Yeah, I'm gonna go beat my meat. Angie. Yes? Will you beat my meat with me? Ah, uh, I mean, I think I'm gonna become a doctor. If that's the case, stop coming into work late. And don't leave without doing your paperwork. I'll do my best. And there's one other thing. Huh? Please try to be more presentable. I shouldn't have to worry about being embarrassed. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna take a nap. Oh, she called him Dr. Styles. How nice. Dormant ability. Alright, here we go. So, the major addition to the Wii game is there is a second surgeon character known as uh, Dr. Uh, I forget her name in this, but it's it's Naomi from Trauma Team. She has a different name here. Patient Alan Chambers is suffering from a comminuted fracture in his right forearm. He's rushed here as soon as the injury occurred, thanks to a nurse who witnessed it. Judging by the x-rays, this one could give us some trouble. But I'm sure Dr. Weaver, oh right, Nozomi Weaver. It's an alias, or something. I appreciate the confidence, but you know this is no big deal. I haven't let a patient down yet, have I? Nozomi Weaver, age 29, a Japanese surgeon who came to America on an exchange program. Since traveling from her, transferring her original hospital in Okinawa, she's getting credible. 
Alan Chambers, isn't he a famous screenwriter? I think it's the same guy. It would certainly explain the media circus gathering outside. Hey, maybe they'll want to interview us. Oh my god, Nintendo Wii. <laughs> They're looking for a press conference. The head surgeon's welcome to take my place. She's really put our hospital on the map. I'd say our exchange program was the best thing to happen to St. Francis. I'm surprised your hospital was willing to let you go, doctor. Give me too much credit. I haven't even been here for a full year. We're getting a little sidetracked, I think. Let's proceed with the procedure. Proceed with the proceed. The procedure with the proceed. Bajabing, bajabing. I just need to avoid unnecessary media attention. I still can't believe they want me operating out in the open like this. Didn't they learn their lesson in Okinawa? Patient's name, Alan Chambers. Serious fracture. As for the x-ray results, he may never write again if he's broken his arm. Alright, this is going to be our first bone reconstruction. I'm starting the operation. What's she doing there? What's that what's that pose she's doing there? What's that all about? What? What are you doing? <laughs> bow, bow, bow. Let's begin. Never whacking again. Good. Favorite Joyce Manor album. Mm. I love the broken bones in this. Fragments fucking fly everywhere. It's wonderful. Next, leave it to me. Leave it to Beaver. The thing I always fuck up on these is returning the bone to its original position. Like that seemed right to me. This always happens. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Sorry, man, I kind of fucked your arm up a few times, but we're fine. Oh, that's not right. Not go there? I see. This is one of the harder parts of the game. You gotta have a steady hand, which I extremely don't. Get there. So you gotta rotate the Wii remote. What do I do with this piece? Vitals are dropping. Where do I put it? I'm so bad at the bone part. I don't understand. I go here? It doesn't help that I'm so shaky that I just cannot tell. I'm doing it in the right spot. Okay, I did it. So where is the last fragment? Sometimes you just have a bone fragment. Antibiotic gel is different than I remember it. You gotta like fucking dot it on. 
I broke my collarbone when I was a wee... a wee bug. Operation complete. Well, that was a bad time, but... <laughs> Yeah, I deserve a C there. Another amazing operation, Dr. Weaver. See you tomorrow. That's the horniest thing you've ever said, Hoskum. I always thought American doctors were more concerned about golf than their patients, but everyone here is so kind, they accepted me as one of their own immediately. Only because they don't know the truth. Hmm, a phone call? Oh, it's them. Miss Weaver. Is he drawn Sunday? It's kind of sudden, don't you think? But I can refuse or anything. Yeah, I'll be there. <coughs> oh, wait. I have finished my blue slush. Dormant ability. Is this the one where I have to do the healing touch 30 times? What the heck happened during that last operation? You know, the blue tasted alright. Tasted like blue, I guess. Just felt like time was slowing down. Am I losing it? I knew exactly what needed to be done, but I'm not sure how I knew that. Stop in circles, I need to figure out. Derek, pay attention. You fuck. Start taking your job seriously, Derek. We need to have a meeting about Mr. Pratt's operation. Angie, can you handle prep for that? Yes, of course, Doctor. Back to usual old Derek. Useless. Ah, no, not waste blockage causing thrombi. Let's go over the procedure for Mr. Pratt. He's been suffering... Oh, it's Chris Pratt. Uh, dizziness and nausea recently. Tests show it wastes accumulated in the spleen. Ugh. Surveillance camera? Oh, Maple, hello. Thank you for the raid. Let me do a little shout out. Uh, Stellaris. I looked that up earlier because I didn't know what it was. Raiders, hello, I'm Ren. I'm a millipede girl. We're playing Trauma Center. Second opinion on the Wii. So sensitive operations, you'll need to make proper use of magnification. Remember, the objective is remove all the thrombi in the vessels. If waste blockage occurs, the patient's vitals will drop. To stay calm and keep it steady. I will never keep it steady. That has never happened in my entire life. Way too shaky. Look at this. How's the stream, mate? Hello, hello. Oh my god. I'm all rattled from the last operation. Doctor. All right. We gotta find the thromb. Oh god, I hate this one. There. Uh, what do I do? Oh, forceps. Then forceps. Oh, one went through. Wait, how was I supposed to stop it? Oh god. Okay, I'm I'm gonna reset. <laughs> I forgot they expect you to already know what you're doing. All mean shot of whiskey. Perfect idea. Uh, okay, I can't just skip past this, huh? Oh, I can't. Never mind. I lied. Meow. Let's begin. All right, there we go. Easy video. Doctor. Okay, so. Uh, this is impossible. 
Excuse me? <laughs> All right. Okay, how am I supposed to do this? It cannot be done. How are you not supposed to let 30 of them through every two seconds? How is that? Ugh. Well, I am on hard. I love the game over screens in this game because you fail one operation and Derek's like, I can't handle this anymore. I am going to disappear from this earth. All right, we can do this. We can do this, right? We can do this. It would be easier with the healing touch. I would like to use that. Okay, so. Zoom. Like, you kind of just have to wait for them all to get here. But uh, you have no time! Area. Oh my god. Like, there's no way to get all of them. It's simply not possible. Oh god, 12 are going through again. Oh! This is why I said I would not be able to beat this game on hard. Let's begin the operation. All right. Let's try again. Let's begin. Well, we're off to a good start. Yes, 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 yes. Then forceps. Then forceps. It's the fact that you have to do so many steps. Also, it's kind of picky about when you can actually forcep them and when they get on the ultrasound. Oh my god, three just went through! What do I do? <laughs> Let's begin the operation. Oh. <sighs> We have to become Eric Styles. Doctor. Doctor. Yep, 
Why does it deselect it? That's annoying. Okay. Can't just skip a step, huh? She says drain them, but there's no way to drain them, as far as I can tell. But... I don't... I'll try. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Uh, let's see... Alright, clipping that area, then make your incision, then drain the area. But it never bleeds, so I don't know if I actually have to drain. Let's begin the operation. Let's begin. Doctor. We'll see. Okay. Well, I just get a cool. They still keep moving. Yeah, see, it doesn't actually stop them from going through. It just... I don't know. Maybe it's helping... Okay, I guess you do have to do it. Alright, good catch. Why are they moving so fast now? Okay. thing about healing touch is you can like see the blood stay on screen for a little longer and shit. It sounded like a psychopath scene. What I mean is they do the slow motion effect well. Well, Idol, thank you for the tip. You did alright. <laughs> Should be a pretty good surgeon, Dr. Styles. Huh? You're practically a different person in there, just like yesterday. I think of it, I did kind of feel like I was someone else. If you're always that focused in the OR, I wouldn't have to worry as much. So you worry about me? <laughs> I definitely worry about your patients. Oh. Angie, I'd like to review the footage of today's operation. Of course, sir. I'll bring it to you later. If we're right, then we should be able to tell from watching the tape. CC. Now we need an S. Card capture Sakura. This is a story mission, so there will be no rank. 
I called you here today to warn you about something. Dr. Casal tells me you may have shown the potential for the healing touch. Healing touch? You don't know? No. Doctors with the healing touch can cure incurable diseases. They can even save patients who come within an inch of death. I don't know how long this gift has existed, but the Creeks believe such doctors were as descendants of Asclepius. Asclepi Asclepius? You mean the god of medicine? Me? <laughs> Those with the healing touch have certain special qualities. They are very obnoxious dorks. Haven't you noticed any changes during your operations? I have been growing hair down there recently. Sometimes it feels like time is moving much more slowly than usual. Hmm, that must be the result of your extraordinary concentration. Definitely marks you as capable of the healing touch. So I have all those powers? You need to forget about them. Those things are unnecessary. Uh-huh. If you pursue this, yes, you'll become an unparalleled surgeon. But are you prepared for the pain that will bring you? Derek, a doctor's hands are heavy with responsibility. Patients depend on us. They put their lives in the hands of us. Can you imagine how heavy that burden would be with the healing touch? There aren't many doctors who could endure such a weight. I'm Uncle Ben from Spider-Man. Forget about that power and be a normal You'll never be happy at all. For my own good? Think of it this way. Right now, you're standing in a large door knocking. Kingdom Hearts. But you can also turn your back on it, and it would stay closed. Why not take a vacation and get your mind off surgery for a while? Uh, but Angie... I like looking at her. Uh. <laughs> Striving for Sclepius. What's wrong, Derek? Shouldn't you be checking on your patients? Dr. Casal, do you think I should stop trying to improve as a doctor? So you spoke with Hoffman. I was hoping the news about your abilities might motivate him to start operating again. Huh? Back when the director was still operating on patients, he named that skill the Healing Touch and accepted its gifts. What? But then something happened. He hasn't operated on anyone since, all because of one mistake. Can you imagine? Can I really do it? Can I master the healing touch? Well, I can't tell what you what to do. I'm not the one with your abilities. But I know if you intend to use this power to help people, you need to take command of it. Get your degree. Set yourself free. National American University. Yes, you can't be halfway with something like this. One simple mistake changed the director's entire life. He delves too far into something even he couldn't understand. I think you can learn a lot from the director's mistake. If you can't control this power, then it's going to cost you. You think I can do it? Your skill seems to involve focus, so try to concentrate on that. Once you adjust, I'm sure you'll be able to make the decision for yourself. I can't fully understand the Healing Touch because I'm not you or Dr. Hoffman. At the end, nobody's going to be able to make this decision for you. Good luck, Derek. I need to focus. Dad always used to say I could never concentrate on anything. <laughs> I told me to imagine one shape like a star or a triangle and focus on that. Why couldn't they have me draw a triangle? That would be so much easier than the star shape. Just trying to star with the Wii remote is not particularly easy, you may find. Alright, it's star time. Time to activate star power. Healing touch. I think I tensed my index finger. This is all wrong. Okay. This is all wrong. This is all wrong. Wait. I think I tensed. This is the classic mission where he says, This is all wrong 30,000 times. This is all wrong. 
Oh, come on. One more time. That's it. Also, the quality of your star actually affects how much time you get in slow motion. It's great. Oh, maybe I overdid it. I gave myself a headache. Angie walks into the break room. Derek, what are you doing? <laughs> One passable healing touch. I think I'm getting the hang of it. I might be able to handle the healing touch after all. Awakening. Boom, bam, 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 is everything all right? You've been staring at that x-ray for a long time. Ah, uh, it's just going over today's operation in my mind. Anyway, let's get the conference started, huh? He's been spacing out a lot lately. At least he's concentrating hard on something, I guess. Even if it is my breasts. Mario Kovac. Multiple aneurysms, oh god. These are annoying. He's patient, Mr. Kovac. He's currently not doing very well. Uh, some of them have ruptured. Treat the aneurysms on the outer membrane. That should be all. First inject a sedative into the swollen vessel. Size the problem area and suture the vessel closed. You'll need to use the magnification gear. Derek, concentrate on the patient. Don't worry about anything else. Okay. Oh, no. Let's begin. The fun thing is, sometimes you can use the healing touch on an operation, um, but you're actually required to use it later on. So then you're just fucked. Pretty cool. Doctor. The womp. Be careful. Okay, so first this. It's just like the Powell procedure, but more annoying. Then forceps. Good work. Bad. But she's so cute. More of them now. Then forceps. In forceps. Oh my lord. Doctor. Oh my god. How did I miss that? God damn it, I was trying to select the fucking thing in it first. Please be careful, idols dropping. This isn't good. Maybe your ability. Do doctor! Fuck. <laughs> I was, I was healing him! I didn't have right time to do the healing touch! <laughs> Let's begin the operation. You have to like preemptively do it if you're gonna have any chance. Be careful. 
Well done. Now's your chance. Doctor. Then forceps. Yeah, yeah, stop talking, Angie. I got a suture. Over here, yeah. No, it's it's over here. God, it's so tight. I realize that sounded somewhat sexual, and I apologize. Well done. God, you gotta just be so precise. Thank you for the follow. Oh, God. I've played this game several times. Art is still too intense. Holy shit. Eight cools. I was gonna be really surprised if I got more than a C. Oh. It tends up so much, too. That's why I'm so shaky. We did it. We did it. Did it. Did it. Make sure you don't rely on it too much. You need to develop your basic skills too. Oh, what the? I know it won't be easy, but you didn't take the job because he's dead. Everything's going black. Derek, are you even listening? Derek? Ba -na -na -na. Here's where Dr. Hoffman's like, Stop using the healing touch, you idiot. You dummy. Seeing the price. So I'm thinking about making a sub goal for doing the X missions in this game, which are significantly harder than these operations, so. That'll be fun. Are you prepared for the pain, etc.? I became a doctor, so I can help you. It cost you your life. You'd give up your own hat. I don't know. I don't know what to do. People need my help. I want to help. Oh, huh? the ceiling? What am I doing here, Doctor Styles? Angie? After Mister Kovac's surgery, you just collapsed. Been asleep for three days. Huh? What about my patient? Oh, Moo, 22, 77. Thank you for the follow. I have operations scheduled. Already taken care of, Derek. I called in the other doctors. That's in the past. We need to discuss how you're going to proceed from here. Okay. Derek, 
I forbid you from using the healing touch like that. I know it was a mandatory part of passing the operation, but the ability puts a tremendous amount of physical strain on your body. It's too risky. What if you collapsed in the middle of a procedure? But without my healing touch, Mr. Kovac might have died. Exactly. That is why you mustn't abandon the healing touch. I advise you to use it only when absolutely necessary, but not like you just did, because it may have been necessary there, but it was bad, so don't use it then. <laughs> Developing your natural skills as a surgeon is far more important. We can't assume the healing touch was the only reason Kovac survived. If you want to help people, then focus on strengthening your natural abilities. I understand. Take it slowly. I'm sure the power inside of you will find its way out. Become the best surgeon you can, and one day you'll inherit the full heritage of Sclepius. Cool line. Yes, sir! I think this is my uh, favorite favorite character. Strengthening my naturals. Doctor, files at sixty. Counter strike is three hundred. She's in shock and losing blood fast. All the rest of the staff, we need to operate immediately. And you get the patient in the OR. Derek, you handle the surgery. I'm on it. Oh, three minutes, God. Oh yeah, it's Linda Reed, baby. Uh, I found massive bleeding in her thoracic cavity. <laughs> this operation has one objective. Treat all injuries within the thoracic cavity. We'll proceed from there. Drain the blood first, if it's a large laceration. After that, use the forceps, close the area, then suture it. Make sure to drain any blood before moving on with the operation. And use the healing touch. You'll have to, even if I tell you not to. All right. There isn't much time. It's the max so I can get you to. Oh, I can just. Okay, sixty-five. Asclepius, I guess, is real. In fact, how could something like this happen? Oh, baby. We're gonna get into the plot pretty soon. Got these gashes. Good work. Oh, that was quick, actually. Nice work, Doctor. We did pretty good there. That was a short one. Still a C? What? <laughs> Explain that to me. Aaron, what did those injuries come from? Oh no, we'll probably take some time to figure out. She'll be hospitalized for a few days, so let's keep an eye on her. Did you notice those cuts along the girl's wrists? Yeah, they looked recent. I'd say her real illness is deeper than we thought. If that's the case, I don't think we're finished seeing complications. Oh, it's seven reasons why the hit Netflix show. Get away! I never asked you to save me. Leave me alone. Please calm down, Mrs. Reed. It's all right. When I passed out, I could feel it. My chest was on fire. I was finally going to be free. Why did you bring me back? I don't want to live. Why would you want to die? I have the healing touch. Don't you know that? You're still young. You have your whole life ahead of me. Yeah, there's something to look forward to, huh? How come everybody says that? My life sucks. I'm tired of all this pain. I'm not pretty enough to date the popular guys. I'm too fat. <laughs> I don't think this character designer is capable of drawing anyone, even like slightly overweight. Um, my mom called me a failure yesterday because I might not even graduate. 
Is that a life you'd want? I'm never going to be happy. Well, that all depends on if you get the healing touch or not. Depends on my attitude? What a joke. A positive outlook won't just magically solve all my problems. Then maybe you should die. <laughs> there are patients here who have to fight just to breathe properly. Every day someone dies after a long, painful struggle to hold on. I'm sorry we saved you. Go end your life for all I care. Angie! <laughs> I know you did your best, Doctor, but I'm afraid it was a wasted effort. Angie, shut up! I have other things to attend to. Yeah, <laughs> she's pretty badass, huh? Yeah. I'm sorry you had to waste your time operating on me. Helping someone is never a waste of time. Just leave me alone. I don't blame that nurse for hating on me. I hate on me, too. I'm not going anywhere. You're still sick. Please leave. It's not that kind of sickness. A doctor's job is more about just physical illness. Nurse Angie taught me that. A bitch. When I was little, I had a cat named Tama. That's Nihongo, Japanese, for ball. We were playing one day, and he ran out into the street. I wasn't fast enough to do anything. A car hit him, and I blamed myself. I decided it was my fault Tama died. I really thought I had killed my cat. It was all I could think about. I told my mother I did a terrible thing and I wanted to die. Uh, what happened then, bro? She slapped me. Hard. On the buttocks. Tama told me Tama would be ashamed of me and that she was too. But she also said that I was the one who should be the most ashamed of myself. She said that to you? Who'd you grow up with, Linda? Huh? Do you have any siblings, or what about pets? Just my parents and my friends at school, I guess. We do drugs together. Could you look those people in the eye and tell them you wanted to die? Yeah, that's kind of all we talk about. But no way, of course not. That's why I want to be left alone. Then hold this. Here. Look at that girl there and say, I want to die. Couldn't do it. Either. Now tell her you're sorry. I think she deserves an apology. Depression cured. Stop worrying about other people and start making that girl happy. Don't work hard in school for your mom's sake. Do it because you'll learn more and become a better person. You should try smiling more often. Find things you enjoy and do them. It might not make you popular, but you'll like yourself a lot more. And you are too fat. I've seen your charts, remember? Your mother sounds like a smart lady, Derek. Really? She could be pretty weird sometimes, but then she'd say, I may be weird, but think of all the stories you'll have to tell one day. That's interesting. Cough. Uh, sorry, I guess I got a little carried away. Really though, she's great. I should let you rest now. I think I'm gonna take a nap. That's a good idea. I love naps. I love big naps. You're a good doctor. Reconciliation. Dun -dun. Grab some more water. Oh, Celia, hello. Thank you for the raid. Sorry, I was grabbing water. A shout out. L raid. Uh, shout out, Celia. What are you up to? Seki Row. Shadows die twice. How was that? Did you did you take an L? Is that is that why this the the raid is named that? The L raid? Or is it because you unlocked L from Death Note. And owned by Samurai. I see. I see. Never played that game. Someday I might. Uh, Raiders, hello. I'm Ren. I'm a Millipede girl. We're playing Trauma Center for the Wii. Wii. Reconciliation. Oof, time for a break. Go get us some coffee. Thanks, that's a great idea. I asked by Linda Reed's room on the way here, but 
Is something wrong? Her parents were there. All three of them started crying and apologizing all at once. It was pretty cringe. School, her father's job. Were you eavesdropping? Well, I was curious. I didn't hear anything worth dying over, though. <laughs> Everyone worries about that stuff during high school, you know? I think we all handle our problems in different ways. I'm glad her family came to visit her. Surgeons aren't really equipped to heal psychological wounds. Don't sell yourself short. <laughs> anyway, if her family knows about it, then they can help her. Yeah, I think she'll be fine. That girl's lucky she was brought to this hospital, though. Huh? Well, there is. Oh, this is only a rumor, but I hear there's a death doctor. A what? Euthanasia. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If that doctor had been treating her when she asked to die. Death doctor, huh? I really can't understand why anyone would want to die. I don't remember that plot point at all. What <laughs> the fuck? Alright, this may be the first appearance of guilt. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm fine. <coughs> yeah, I'm okay. Derek, we just received some strange results back on Linda Reed. Do they explain the bleeding in our lungs? I don't think it's directly related, but they found extremely high levels of ciprohidine in her blood. I'm not smoking, I'm choking on water! I'm trying to be healthy! Cipro? What's that? It's new antihistamine, Doctor. They're usually tr used to treat allergies. I know what antihistamines do, or antihistamines do, but why didn't she tell us she was on medication? Because she wasn't. Drugs involving cephoridine are still in clinical trial. Also, our tests indicated 24 times the suggested dosage. Side effects from overdose include headaches and emotional distress. In extreme cases, the mood swings are serious enough to prompt suicide. So she wasn't, she wasn't depressed for for uh, emotional reasons or anything. It was it was just because she she was ill. That explains her death wish. May have contributed, but I doubt that was the primary cause. Okay, well, thank you, doctor. Still, I've never heard of sulfuretida being synthesized from the body. Whatever's causing it might be the source of those lacerations. It's a doctor! What is it? Reed's condition is getting worse. She's complaining about an excruciating chest pain. What? It hurts! Linda! Doctor, I want to live. I want to live, doctor! I don't know why I did that voice, but... Alright, hemorrhaging lacerations have reformed in the right lung. Please conduct an investigation while performing hemostatic treatment. Her blood pressure is decreasing at a frightening rate. We suspect hemorrhaging in her lungs again. There has to be some explanation for why these lacerations are occurring. Until we figure out what that is, there's not a lot we can do. We should have two objectives during this operation. Treat... Tweet! <laughs> Bleeding injuries within her thoracic cavity. Discover the source of lacerations. I'll be working as your assistant. Stay calm, Derek. But where's Angie? Alright. I think this is where shit gets real. Why now? Derek, take extra care during this operation. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. We fixed these three days ago. Miss Reed is still weak from her first lobotomy. Be careful. Like, I wouldn't be careful. I'm Derek fucking Styles. I have the healing touch. Don't you know? Bad. Mm. 
We've treated our lacerations. What's the next step? We need to close her up and have a closer examination later. Nice job, Derek. Suture the- OH MY GOD! What the hell's going on? What? Oh baby, there it is! Did you see that? It was moving! Excise it like a tumor. What the hell? I've never seen anything like this! Doctor, you have to get it out of the patient! What if we tried incinerating it with the laser? It's gone. Defeat. Angie, using the lady was the right decision. Good thinking. Been a bad idea to try to remove that thing alive. Oh my lord. More of them. Uh-huh. Where is it? Where'd you go? Where'd you go, silly? Oh, baby! Here we go! Come on. To cut it out. I keep selecting the wrong shit. We did it. Let's close her up. Derek, Angie, you both did well. Don't tell me that weird parasite was the one. Could it have been guilt? Huh? What's going on? Why'd they both stop talking? <laughs> Derek just never reads medical journals. I guess I wouldn't either. No. Nice work, Dr. Styles. Linda should finally be able to recover. Thank you, Dr. Styles. Sometimes you gotta you gotta take the laser to the chest. The the chest lizards. Uh, that's just how it is in the medical world. How'd I do? B? Alright, I'll take it. I'd like to remind everyone that the details of this operation should be considered strictly confidential. Bring Linda Reed's medical files to my office immediately. I'll provide updates when appropriate. That's all for today. And gossip time. Doctor, could that have been guilt? How do you know about that? I don't know much. It was mentioned in my father's research. When did your father come across something like guilt? Well, he was a researcher. Other than that, I don't really know. Give me some time to examine the situation. Until then, don't mention guilt to anyone. Understand? Yes, sir. Uh, but I did just update my Twitter. What the hell is guilt? Uh, Strive is the new one. Caduceus. I'm here. Please come in. Pardon me, but why was I called to your office? Why don't you have a look at this examination report first? Who's this for? Linda Reed. What do these headings mean? I don't recognize them. Positive chiral reaction? Guilt? Positive? Spectral analysis? G1R? Those tests are beyond our capabilities, so we enlisted help from an outside organization. In the last few years, a bizarre disease with varying symptoms has been reported. In several isolated cases. The two things they had in common? Oh my god, it's a Ricky raid. Ricky, hello! Did you beat Metal Gear Solid 2, the possibly greatest game of all time? Out, out, Ricky Nyonko. Go follow Ricky if you. What if it was Obama Center? Shut up, Ravi. Ricky, I love you. Thank you for the raid. Uh, Raiders, hello. I'm Ren. I'm a millipede girl. We're playing Trauma Center for the Wii. We just discovered 
Guilt, the magical lizard disease inside of people. It's not Obama Center. It's not, I tell you. It's not. Each victim's body had turned against itself, and they all died. Because of that, we believe each subject was infected with guilt. Oh, hell yeah, you beat it. I love the end of Metal Gear Solid 2 so much. So, so much. <laughs> I have to watch the VOD. I knew I wouldn't be able to watch the whole thing, so I, I decided to not watch any of it. Ganglolate. Gangliated Eutrophin Immuno Latency Toxin. I forgot that's what guilt stands for. <laughs> then you think Reed's illness was? Exactly. Linda Reed is a guilt victim. <laughs> a lag. Surprised you were able to treat her without proper resources. It was a difficult operation, but I wanted to save her. Llama Center. Now that I can get behind. Well, that decision may have changed your life. The organization we mentioned before has requested that you join them. Huh? Your healing touch ability allowed you to successfully cure a guilt victim. I didn't even use the healing touch. What organization is this, anyway? They're an arm of the World Health Organization that specializes in exterminating intractable diseases that threaten mankind. They're called Caduceus. Caduceus? I remember seeing them listed in essays on cancer and AIDS treatment. Aren't they the ones who eradicated the Tufta influenza last year? The who? Uh, they put out songs like, uh... Who's next? Is that the album? <laughs> Caduceus wants me? What are you gonna do, Derek? You've been offered a chance to work at the forefront of modern medicine. CSI fan. Yeah, CSI fan. Good to meet you too, Digia. So all of a sudden, I'm not really sure what to do. I mean, it would change my whole life. You don't need to decide right away. Just remember that this is a choice, not an order. The only reason I'm telling you this is because an old friend asked me to. To be honest, I'm against you joining Caduceus. I really don't want to see you better the world, Derek. Uh huh? I don't think a research laboratory is the right environment for you. Didn't you say you wanted to help patients face to face? That's true. You should probably see this as well. A letter? Kiriaki Sunday. Death is denied those who seek it, though it be their destiny. They search for it like treasure, but the modern age conceals it. Uh, Jeru, thank you for the bits. Thank you all for the bits, by the way. Digiops, thank you for the follow. And Ricky, if you need to go eat or whatever, enjoy your meal, rest, rest, whatever it is you need to do. What's this supposed to mean? Arrived shortly after Linda Reed was hospitalized. We don't know who sent it. Supposedly these letters arrive shortly before guilt does. Huh? That means guilt doesn't occur naturally, which means it could be some kind of man-made virus. The World Health Organization is considering it terrorist activity. Huh? And someone is creating guilt and releasing it into society. We don't have any leads as to who or why, almost as if it's meant to confuse us. The UN even created a new term to describe it. Medical terrorism. Caduceus is anticipating a large-scale guilt outbreak, and they need skilled doctors to be ready for it. Hopefully now you see the stakes involved in this. Still, I don't think you should do it because... reasons. For the greater good. Now, don't play the Caduceus one again. I'm trying to do this one-handed so I can drink water. I almost choked on my water again. Why am I so bad at drinking water? Thank you so much, Doctor. It hurt so badly I thought I was a goner. Well, appendicitis is a fairly common condition, but congratulations on your recovery, Mr. Sasano. My wife gets sick, I'll make sure you're the one operating on her. Well, <laughs> that's pretty, uh, 
Oishi of you, sir. Yes, that's true. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm sucking dick while streaming. How did you? Talking about patience is one of my favorite parts of the job. Did I really leave that behind? Derek will be starting the operation briefing soon. Okay. Elisa Chalk. Mitral prolapse and regurgitation. Since complications may arise, it is necessary to replace the valve with a synthetic one. There will be a problem in the pediatric ward. She's a very young child with valvular heart disease. It was a tough decision, but her parents, parents finally decided to go ahead with the procedure. There's only one main objective for this operation. Replace a valve in her heart with a synthetic one. You'll use a triple incision to excise the valve. Cut three times. We'll need to be as cautious as possible, understand? Technology has made a lot of situations much easier for us, but heart surgery will always rely on a skillful doctor. Genji, keep an eye on the oscillograph to aid Dr. Styles. I understand. Don't let the gravity of this operation intimidate you. The conference is over. She's in your hands now, Derek. All right. Light arrhythmia. Oh god, am I gonna have to fucking massage the heart in this one? It's the worst fucking thing in the whole game. <laughs> oh boy. Mm hmm. There's a ventricle fibrobarsha. 3, 2, 1, clear. She's flat. Okay, it's just the uh, defib. The defib. No heart massage this time. These are so hard to do. Okay, I'll stand by with the defibrillator. Yeah, 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 I know. You gotta treat her with the right wounds. Or, oh. Okay, I guess I should not bother healing her then. We moan gaming. Okay, excise in three stages. Let's drain this motherfucking blood. Yeah, yeah, she's doing the thing again. It happens so often. Yeah, 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 defib. Doctor! Doctor! What? <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, Derek disappeared, blah, blah, blah. Look, it's not my fault. There was a puddle of blood I didn't see, and I guess it killed her, okay? Definitely not my fault. That one was my fault. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I know, I gotta do the- I gotta do the thing. Oh, in one try, baby. Yes, yes, I know! Doctor. Oh, come on. Doctor? Doctor? Yeah, 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 do the thing already. Come on! Come on! I shouldn't have done that last little cut, but it's fine. Come on, come on. Treatment complete. 
And again. It's annoying because you just can't do anything for so long leading up to it actually bringing the defibrillator out. Oh god. Oh, she's gonna die. She's gonna die. I fucked up. I fucked up. She's gonna die. Uh, Raiders are playing on hard, by the way, which is uh, a trying experience. <laughs> Drop all of the antibiotic gel on her. Let's begin. Let's begin. Okay. Uh huh, I know, I know, she's gonna go into cardiac arrest. Why did it happen faster this time than last time? That's weird. I was able to, uh, like, do the gel on her last time. Really gotta get better at this. Doctor. Cool. Yeah, yeah, hurry it up, hurry it up! Oh, you decided against it? Nope, there you go. Are you gonna do it or not? Okay. Ah! Uh. All right, you know, that time didn't go very well, but it's okay. We have unlimited tries to save this girl, um, just like real life. Mistakes in medicine are not a big deal. Oh, maybe because I had skip held down, I was able to gel earlier. Right. Doctor. Doctor. Yep, do the thing. Come on, come on, come on. Right. Proceed as normal. Treatment complete. And come on. Come on! Come on! Uh, right. Come on! Come on! Oh, suture it. I just... Amazing. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. Okay. My... Hello? Angie? What are we doing? Angie? Weezers? I don't think so. I need to suture it again? Oh, I had to suture it twice. I <laughs> got that valve from Home Depot. Now she can play outside with all her friends. Yeah. Alright. Poor girl, she's too young to go through something like this. Having someone cut open your chest is so unnatural. Yeah, well, Angie, you're a fucking nurse, so get used to it. Nice work, Dr. Styles. Human body is truly amazing. It's a C. Is my daughter? Will Elisa be alright? The operation was a success. She'll need about two months to fully recover. 
before she can go back to school. Her friends will forget all about her in that time, but after that, she'll be as good as new. Oh, that's good news. Thanks so much, Doctor. People are always worried about heart surgery, especially on children, but I'm pretty good at this sort of thing. Young patients like your daughter face very little risk of permanent physical damage. To be honest, I'm much more worried about the psychological stress operations like this might have on small children. Please take good care of her during her recovery. Oh, of course. Lisa, we love you so much. Modern Medicine. I'm very sorry. Modern medicine just hasn't advanced enough to treat a disease like this. You have my condolences. Mom, why are you crying? Dad's okay, right? It's gonna get better, right? But why isn't Dad getting better? You can fix him. You just gotta fix him. He's my dad. I'm sorry, son. No doctor in the world could save your father from this. Things have come a long way. Dr. Hoffman, I'm going to accept the offer from Caduceus. You fuck! I know about what happened to you in the past. I know that having superior skills will only create more pressure to succeed. But everyone will expect me to have the answers nobody else has. I'm sure those are valid concerns, and the path I've chosen will probably cause me a lot of pain. But I became a doctor so that no one would have to die from an incurable... Not ever again. Diseases are painful. And losing someone to disease is even more painful. It's hard for doctors to tell people their loved ones can't be cured. I'm going to make sure they won't have to. Caduceus has already found ways to save thousands of people. I can somehow help them find cures for incurable diseases, then. I'll accept that responsibility. I'm T-posing and joining Caduceus. Oh, no, no, no. All right, we get another Naomi mission. Miracle on Ice. Miracle. Old Brook Saint Hospital. Ooh. This one has a tumor on his large intestine, so we need you to remove it. I should warn you that this particular tumor is tumor. <laughs> Be careful when you take it out. I contracted it during an early research stage, so I'm afraid it's rather advanced now. I don't think he has much of a chance of survival. Of course, it would be better not to lose him. This is why they wanted you to try. I'd ask what all this research was for, but I know I wouldn't get a real answer. Four cases in the past month. Is it just me or are you guys having some trouble lately? These people aren't afraid to die. There's no need to waste your sympathy on the choices they made. Don't worry about me. Sympathy isn't an emotion I feel much anymore. <laughs> the patients exist so that I can save them. It's simple as that. This is where, why she had to learn to love in Trauma Team. I think you'll need to use this healing touch on this case. Would you have even called me if it wasn't that serious? Without patients like this, I'd never be able to practice my true medical talents. Let's get this over with. Bring him in. Guilt victim. Extraction of an unusual tumor present in a large intestine. Patient's vitals may fluctuate abnormally. The anesthesia is proceeding well, so I should be able to start on schedule. Looks like I only have one physician. Extract any tumors in the patient's large intestine. Simple enough. Oh, this can't be a normal tumor if they need me to get involved. I don't know what they've got inside them, so I'll need to keep an eye on those vitals. What are you talking about? Or operating on a patient and you're talking about a boobs! Unbelievable! <laughs> He's doing the silly pose again. I don't know what she's doing there. I'm ready. The large intestine is connected to the small intestine. Namissa Burdipa, I don't know who that is. Oh god damn it. This is the first time we see this fucking thing. Good. That's two. Next. Alright. Easer. Hardly even know where, etc. Oh my god.
first. If I remember right, the deal with these is you have to extract both of them within like a certain amount of time. Of one another. So the healing touch is pretty much 100% necessary for this. When you get to the fourth stage. Nope, it didn't, Naomi. Okay. Oh, is she gonna do it herself? This power took away my life, but it's the reason I'm here. Okay, we get unlimited healing touch time, except for the time limit. We're sucking. I think whenever you get an okay with her, it heals the patient. I don't think that Derek has that. I don't have to do the thing I'm doing here, then, uh... Get those vitals fucked up. up. Okay, well, I'm still fucked. <laughs> Operation failed. Enough, Weaver. We'll just have to get one of them. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, we'll try again. No, I press no. I want to try again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, am I making up how I'm supposed to treat this? We'll see. We'll see. I'm ready. All right. Next. Next. That's two. Weep. All right. What the? Oh. What the? What the hell? Yeah, I forget how this works exactly. Maybe if I do them like this time. So I'll get all the way back up. Okay, they're still plunging. All right, healing touch time. Okay. So we gotta do this extremely quickly. Is the only way, I guess. This has to be the way you're supposed to do it then. Why is the light flashing like that? That doesn't seem good. Oh, it's the healing touch light. Right, right. <laughs> the antibiotic gel looks so gross. <laughs> Slow mo. All right. Ba -da -ba -boom. They better give me a fucking B at least on this. Done. 
Done. Boom. So that was another type of guilt that hasn't been introduced in the actual story yet, but you know, I'm spoiling you. Yeah, B, let's go. Amazing as always, you can expect another glowing report. It's a shame someone with your skills can't practice them out in the open. Medical society just isn't ready for someone who can manipulate energy the way you do. Then again, how many people could there be, possibly be with special powers like that? You don't usually talk this much afterwards. Would you shut up? Pardon me, I don't mean anything by it. Oh, it's fine. It's just used to being you, you, all business. That's what I meant. Let me know when you've transferred the payment to my account. Double checking, huh? You're pragmatic as always. Girl has to make a living, doesn't she? Money's about the only thing that ability of mine is worth these days, depressing as it is. I understand. You'll be contacted as soon as the transaction is complete. But don't forget, we're the ones who transferred you to an American hospital when you lost your license. Without us, you wouldn't have a new name, and you wouldn't have a new life, Dr. Kimishima. Trust me. No one understands my position better than I do. Yeah, she's Naomi, Naomi Kimishima from Trauma Team. There you have it, folks. The big reveal of something that does not matter until 2010. This game was like 2007, I think. You fixed my broken wings and I'm willing to repay that favor no matter what it costs. I like that she's a mortician when she's in Trauma Team for some reason. Glad to hear it. It's Cave Hill, hello? Well then, come with me. I'll be escorting you home, as always. Escorting? Not speak any. Alright. Um. Let's meet the, uh, the Caduceus folks. And then we'll call it a day. Today should be Derek's first day with Caduceus. Are you worried? I wouldn't say worried. We're down one doctor and one assistant. It won't be easy to operate with just two of our best people gone. Derek has the potential, but he's far from perfect. I wasn't about to send him to Caduceus without an assistant he's comfortable with. Besides, Caduceus is supposed to help us find replacement staff. I see. Still, I didn't expect Styles to be the selfless humanitarian type. You think he'll be able to handle the pressure? I suppose we'll find out. He's gonna be surprised. I didn't get a chance to tell him about Sydney, Australia. More time, vibing with the carpet. I love laying on the carpet. Caduceus, an international organization seeking to eradicate disease. Caduceus USA is the American branch, as you may guess. There are additional branches in Europe and Japan. The US branch specializes in researching anti-infection measures. It was originally established in 1980 as a top secret offshoot of HHS, the Department of Health and Human Services. Once the organization went international, the central agency was renamed Caduceus USA. They are authorized to give act on their own outside of government protocols. Oh. Derek Stiles, you may come in now. Hello. Do I really have to wear these silly cyberpunk headphone goggle things all the time here? Welcome to Caduceus USA, Derek. It's nice to meet you. I'm Sidney Casal, the director of U.S. Operations. My brother's told me a lot about you. I'm glad you decided to accept our offer. Sidney Casal, age 35, chief director of Caduceus. He's dedicated his life to the study of clinical medicine after his wife died of a tragic illness. Oh, uh, I think Dr. Casal mentioned something about having a brother. I mean, it was an honor to even be considered for the position. Angie Thompson, would you come in as well? She gets the good outfit here. <laughs> It's also incredibly dumb, but it's at least cute. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, too. You're young, but I hear you're hardworking and sharp as a tank. I look forward to seeing what you both can do here at Caduceus. Thank you, sir. I'll do my best. Secretary of Health and Human Services should be here shortly. It's like a like nurse cosplay or, or a nurse Halloween outfit. But pinker. Right this way, Mr. Secretary. Congratulations, Derek Angie. I'm Richard Anderson. Well, perhaps it'd be more appropriate to thank the both of you. Richard Anderson, current Secretary of Health and Human Services. After a long career in politics, he became the Executive Director of Caduceus. Thanks for accepting such a dangerous job. You gotta have the umbrella indoors. You never know when it might rain. Old operating on guilt puts the surgeon at risk too, and we still have no idea who's responsible for spreading it. Uh, nobody told us that. But from what I hear about you two, you're up to the task. 
scientific advances, DNA treatments, changing social environments. We live in challenging times, and it's our responsibility to research and develop treatments that ensure the stability of world health. What all this means is, I'm pleased to have you both on board. I hope you'll do your best and take your work seriously. Yes, sir. Who's USA conference room? This is Dr. Clark's, our resident surgical expert. Ugh. Oh, I wouldn't say expert. There's always room for improvement. He has a wife and two children. His demeanor has been a blessing and comfort to many patients. Nice to meet you, I'm Stephen Clarks. Nice to meet you, Dr. Clarks. This is our anesthesiologist, Dr. Myers. My name's Sybil, nice to meet you. Sybil Myers, a well-respected anesthesiology specialist. She used to be a police officer, but left the force to practice medicine, as you do. She's intelligent and very spirited. She's kept her old nickname from the force, Iron Vixen. You're from Hope Hospital, right? Isn't that Greg Casal's office? Do you know him? Yeah, we went to med school together. He's helped me in a lot of ways, if you know what I mean. I'm actually the only person here who knew Sydney was his younger brother. Anyway, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. Of course, it's nice to meet you. Some of our staff aren't here today, so you'll have to meet them later. Ah, oh, we don't meet fucking Chaser over the fuck. Think this will lighten our workload? Doubt it. Have you taken a look at the upcoming list of incoming patients? Oh well. Have you guys been working with a lot of patients here at this hospital where you treat patients? The public isn't aware of this yet, but we're on the verge of an outbreak. Congress recently voted in favor of giving us a budget increase, but that won't be good enough. At any rate, we won't need you to start treating patients till tomorrow, so for today, let's get all that paperwork out of the way. Sounds good. I don't know. No. Ah, no, 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 no. Sheesh! Who knew filling out employment forms could be so tiring? Me, yeah, I did. It's pretty late. Yeah. Hey, why'd you come to Caduceus anyway? You got a crush on me? Do you want to go out, Angie? Angie, do you think I'm hot? Does it matter? Ah! Uh. <laughs> Dr. Casal recommended me. That's not what I meant. Before, it seemed like you knew something about guilt, so... Does it have anything to do with your father's disappearance? Uh, no. Lucius has the newest technology and research material. I wanted to be here on the front line of modern medicine. Same as you wanting to become a master surgeon. I wanted to be a master assistant. That's really all there is to it. Oh, okay. So do you like me? Potassium chloride's ready, so if we increase the sedative. Huh? Derek? Oh, here he is. This fuck. Sorry, I gotta run. Yeah, I'll get back to you, dude. No way. Tyler? This is the guy I was talking about. He's not named Chase. I was thinking of the house guy named Chase. No way. No way. You seriously work here now? Tyler Chase, a surgeon at Caduceus. He went to med school with Derek. They never did figure out how to open his eyes. Yeah, I started today. I must say, it's very much a pleasure to meet your gorgeous assistant, dude. My name is Angie Thompson. Nice to meet you. And I heard him say the new guy's name was Styles, but this rocks! I didn't think you were adventurous enough to join Caduceus, dude. And I mean, you weren't exactly an A student, man. But everyone's been hyping you up as a highly skilled surgeon. Uh, what? Nobody told me anything about that. I don't want to expect people expecting too much from me right away. Well, you have a pretty good track record so far, Dr. Styles. Plus, you get a game over if you fail a single operation, so I'm sure you'll do great. People can change a lot in three years, you know. What about you? You're probably one of the top five in our class. I guess you can see for yourself, huh? Why do you spell yourself like that? Good luck, man. We ought to throw you a party or something. See ya. I got some babes to hang out with. I can't believe Tyler works here. He gave me wedgies all the time. Yeah, I kind of figured that out. He's the professor's favorite, so I guess I assumed he'd still be taking classes. Potassium chloride, huh? I wonder if he's doing animal testing. All right, I think we'll call it here for today. Mic noise, mic noise. Oh, it wasn't too bad this time. All righty. Uh, let's find who to raid. Ba-na-ba-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na
Uh, no stream tomorrow, but Wednesday, I'll be back with the uh, Sega Saturn games. I'm doing Sega Saturn Roulette. Roulette, roulette. Ah, uh, who to raid, who to raid. Oh yeah, Dahime Sama is still raiding. Let's raid, raiding. Let's uh, raid him. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, do I have anything else to say? Uh, you can join my Discord at the Discord if you want. Uh, I'm on the Twitter. And uh, that's about it. I'm going to wait for this ad to end before I do the raid. So uh, you got six more seconds with me while I watch this Taco Bell commercial. Grilled cheese burrito. Goodbye.